Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is document preparation using LaTeX second edition and we are now at part 3 which is using bibliographies and using and switching between different conference styles. In our first video we covered installing the software and in the second we created the first document in LaTeX. In this video we are going to cover creating your second document which is going to include bibliographies and we are also going to create your third document which is going to be about different content styles. So let's start by first going over to the demo files and copying this as before. Renaming it to demo2-end and then taking a look at the file. The file that we want to edit here is called second-doc. So let's open that. As you can see, it's a very basic document which has the article document class. We have begin document, the title, and make title. Our main document starts with an introduction. And let's build it and see what we have at the moment. You can see it's a very basic document with a few differences. First of all, we have an itemized list over here with a nested unordered list. So we haven't covered that yet so let's see how you can do that to create an itemized list you start an environment enumerate and end it each item is created using the slash item command as you can see slash item starts a new item and create document file and the nested list can be created just as the outer list the difference is to create an unordered list you start the itemize command uh, environment so so as you can see in order to create bibliographies in your latex documents the first thing you need to do is create your main document file which we already have you need to create a project and that is required if you want to use the uh, bibliography, BibTech uh, extensions to LaTeX. In order to create a project, you go to Project menu and create with active file as main file. You give the main file name over here, which will be picked automatically. You have to check BibTech, uses BibTech option here and select the language as English and the dialect, whatever your dialect is. And you can click on OK. You will notice the uh, navigator menu has appeared. We covered that in detail in the previous lectures. Now we can save this document and uh, building it won't be uh, won't make any other difference. So let's go ahead and see what the other steps are. You need to collect bibliography entries in a .bib file. For this, you can get the bibliographies from Google Scholar or ACM or wherever, or you can write the entry yourself. So let's see how you can get your bibliography entries from Google Scholar. For that you need to go to Google Scholar and search for any paper that you want the bib entry for. We've searched for this and we have arrived at this page. Now you won't see any bibtech option here because you have to enable it in Scholar Preferences. So you go to Scholar Preferences at the top right and at the very end of the page you will see the Bibliography Manager option. You change that to show links to import citations into bibtech. You also have some other options, but right now we need BibTech option. You save preferences, and now you will notice the import into BibTech option appearing next to each entry that Scholar returns. So whichever paper you want to import into your or cite into your document, you click on import into BibTech, and you will get the BibTech entry over here. The use itself is very simple. You simply copy this entry create a new file and paste this file, paste this entry in your file. This file is going to be your bib file, .bib file. You save it in the same folder as your second dash doc file. You can see we are at demo2 dash end and we save it as bib file dot bib and hit save. Now you have this entry over here. Now we want to, as 
you can see, this is only text-based, and you can use the same syntax to create entries yourself if you can't find them anywhere else. You can also go to your ACM Digital Library, search for any paper. Once you arrive at the page, main page for this paper, you will find these three options at the right. You can export format in BibTeX. Just click on that, and you will get the BibTeX option. So you can take that, copy it, and paste it in your Bib file. Let's take another article from this entry. Let's copy that and paste it over here. So we now have three different bib entries or bibliography entries in our bib file. Your bib file can be as large as you want. You can collect all your papers, all the citations that you've done for your thesis in your bib file. They will not all appear in your document. In order for them to appear in your document, you have to cite them. You need to add a bibliography style and a bibliography command to your document. So let's add them here. The default option and the simplest option, the one that ACM also uses, is the plain bibliography style. That is basically the same as ACM style if you know what that is. And you have to tell it where the bibliography database or the bib file is. And this is bibfile.bib. So we remove the extension and mention the bibliography file that we have just created. Once you save the file, you will be able to go to references menu and see that all three of the entries are now appearing over here. Let's insert one of these entries by citing it. There are two methods you can do this with. The first is the cite command and you can start typing the key for the bib entry, the very first entry, the very first uh, comma separated value that you see here, that is the key of this entry. The second entry has this long key, and the third entry has this key. So you can change these keys to something that you would remember. So that's my convention. A keyword that lets me remember what the article title is, and then the author year. So you can cite it using se-cs and you will notice the tooltip you can hit control space to auto complete it another option if you don't remember that title is to go over here in your references menu right click on the entry that you want to insert and insert reference you will notice the site command appear automatically over here similarly you can insert the third one as well so that's how you insert bibliographies into your document. Let's build the document and you get an error. And it's a good thing that we've got this error because it lets me tell you that you have to close your PDF if you want to build it again. Right? So if you get an error like that, and that error is going to say, I can't write on file second dash doctor PDF, it means your file is open somewhere else, you need to close it. So you build your output once, you will notice four warnings. Let's see what the warning is. It's saying citation SECS collab on page one undefined. This is because of the aux file that we covered earlier on and the simple solution is to build the document at least three times or until the warnings go away. So now the warnings have gone away because LaTeX has gone through the aux file a couple of times and now it knows where the different entries are. You can view the document now and see that not only have the numbers been properly inserted but the references have also been inserted in some order this order does not have to be in the order of appearance as you can see two appears first then one and then three that's because the plain document citation style the plain style specifies that the first author's last name should be used to sort the documents so Noman, N-A-U-M-A-N, and then Noman, and then S-E-O. So S is after N in dictionary, so the third reference appears afterwards. It does not matter where the uh, document is cited. That's what the ACM style requires. So that is how LaTeX does it. If you want to change it, you need to um, continue watching this video because we're coming just that in a minute. So now you can import bibliographies into your document and you can see that this document is very simple. You can keep your bibliography file separate and cite them very easily. So that's it about bibliographies. We'll come back to this in a minute. 
what we want to do now is go over here to our demo files and open the third doc right. uh, this is going to be very similar and what we're going to do here is using different content styles so let's see what this document currently looks like it's not built so we have to build it first there is an error let's see what that error is yes we have an undefined control section so I have a typing mistake over here let's correct that and let's build it again so the error is gone we have two pages let's see what the document looks like it looks like any other latent document that we have been creating till now right? so it does not have any citations anything else the first thing we want to do is create the project again use pip tech english okay we have these things here we want to go ahead and add the bibliography and we want to cite a couple of articles anywhere that you want so let's insert this over here insert reference let's insert the other reference as well and the third also right so let's build it once twice three times and now we can see that we have the document we have the references over here and we have the citations over here now what we want to do is basically write a paper for the Springer style notice a couple of things here you will see that the date appears here and the document looks like this right so let's go ahead and see how we can convert it to a Springer format all you need to do is change the document class to LLNCS LNCS standing for lecture notes in computer science which is the Springer format and you need to get this LNCS.CLS file right once you have this CLS file and you change the document class to LLNCS that's all you need to do to change your document into a Springer format file you build it a couple of times and now you can see that the appearance has changed slightly and that is all that is required to convert your document into a Springer format there is a problem however the format of referencing over here is not Springer format it's ACM format we need to change that as well and to do that you need to go over here and change the bibliography style to SPLNCS why SPLNCS? because Springer names their bib file as SPLNS so we have SPLNCS.pst and we change the bibliography style to that and we go ahead and compile the document again a couple of times and now we have the format changed to you will notice slight changes into the format telecommunication systems is no longer italicized so this now is in proper Springer format you will notice that there are no square brackets around the numbers over here but they do have these square brackets around over here the font is slightly smaller and these changes have been taken care of automatically by Springer you will notice that Muhammad Noman does not appear in full over here now because that is how Springer does it now let's suppose you want to change this document from Springer to ACM how do you do that you go ahead and change the document class to sig-alternate because that is what ACM calls their document file document class and we have that again in your file collection that we've provided you so sig, sig alternate has been changed and since ACM uses the plain format we do that and close the document rebuild it and notice that everything has been taken care of automatically the format is now in ACM and the whole ACM permission copyright permission text has appeared it is now in two column format abstract is as it should be everything has been taken care of automatically by LaTeX third example you want to change it now to IEEE 
you go over here and say I triple E tron that's for I triple transaction and you change the bibliography style to I triple E tron as well again that's what I triple E call their files so I triple E tron dot CLS later class file and I triple E tron dot DST for the bibliography style file build it again and you see that the style has now been changed the reference style has been changed to suit I triple E you have double quotes around the title the book title has been italicized everything that I triple E requires the section headings have been properly changed and the abstract is now in the format that I triple E requires finally the uh, other I triple E format because I triple E does not uh, have just one format they have two formats the other one is where the abstract is italicized they're both called the 8.5 times 11 format so I don't know what the name is but it's the other format you'll see which one I'm talking about when you see it that format is a little different because it defines itself in the format of a package so to use that you say use latex 8 document class should be article with an option of two column and you have to change the IEEE tron over here to latex 8 as well once again you have latex 8.cls file and sorry latex 8. Style file this time because this is defined in terms of a LaTeX style package and LaTeX 8.bst. It's not CLS now because we are using the article class file and we are using LaTeX 8 style file. Now let's close, close the document again, it's already closed and let's build it. And now you will see that we are in the other IEEE format in which the abstract is the word heading uh, abstract is centralized, the abstract itself is italicized, and it's a two column format with the proper. IEEE reference style. So that's how easy it is to change from one reference style, one conference style to another conference style in LaTeX. If you are using LaTeX, uh, you can change from one conference style to another conference style. You will notice that we have not made a single change into any of the uh, actual content of our document. So our content remains the same. If you want to go from one style to another style, all you have to do is change the document class and or into packages and define the the geography style. So that's it for this video and next time inshallah we'll be covering the uh, other important aspects of writing papers such as including algorithms and producing outputs including pseudocode all of those things. Take care.